guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another video in this video we're going to be doing one more christmas makeup tutorial this actually isn't the end of my christmas series but you guys asked in oh my gosh i forget what one of the throwback videos if i can do some more christmas looks and here i am doing yet again another christmas look you know with christmas it's like either you could do green looks or you can do red looks or you know something like that but for me if i were to wear if i were to wear something to christmas i would honestly do just like a neutral smoky eye and just call it a day honestly like like really if i were gonna put on makeup because it's just i mean you think about the red and you know all of the looks that i do are more so for like a christmas party let's be honest christmas morning you're not putting on a full face of makeup to go over to your mom's house or your sister's house or your brother's house or whatever it may be to open presents for your kids you're just not it's just unrealistic it's just not something that we do at least amongst my family <laughs> but if you're going to a christmas party we're gonna label this the holiday christmas party makeup tour that's what we're gonna do and in this look we are gonna be using the glow by glory x benji glow up palette so this is what the palette looks like it has a marble kind of um aesthetic with some rose gold um lettering and benji is okay so beauty by benji is a youtube channel uh personally if i'm being completely 100 percent honest i've never watched any of her videos um until i received this palette and then i went and looked at her channel and she has really good um quality um but i just didn't know who she was before they reached out to me to ask if i would um do a look with the palette which of course like a black vlogger a black woman vlogger and she created her own palette like of course why not you know um but the note from benji on the back is it says for as long as i can remember my dream has to be has been to create an eyeshadow palette one that would have all the essential colors the right amount of mattes and shimmers with insane pigmentation i wanted to create the perfect dream palette for all makeup lovers and then it says my name is benji aka beauty by benji i give to you my baby this palette is infused with love friendship hopes and dreams i hope you love it as much as i do and um glow by glory is out of austin texas so and i i'm not 100 percent sure but i assume it's also the brand is also black owned but it does come with a mirror and it says be bold be brave and but always be you and this is what the shadows look like so it's a really 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 large palette you guys like this is the size of my hand like this is a really really big palette so traveling with this probably won't be the most ideal because it is extremely large like it's like the size of my face pretty much like it's it's a huge palette but it does have some really good essential colors in it there is the top row this is the um, row of it's okay let me swatch them so the first one is cream it's a matte nude vanilla color then you have lumiere which is a champagne shimmery shade really good pigmentation you have glisten which is a little more of a rose gold this one was isn't as creamy as lumiere um and then glow up which is a gold so that's the first row really good color like color selection a lot of different colors you get a matte vanilla color so you can do like a matte smoky eye if you want to and then you get three different shimmery kind of shades a champagne a rose gold and also a gold and then champagne mommy is a little bit more of like a pewter a pewter kind of color it's like a like a grayish beige kind of color then you get salty which is a really pretty teal it's a nice pop in amongst this palette of neutrals because this is mainly in neutrals then you get hashtag 45 which is a really pretty warm transition shade and then few which is like a berry kind of tone so that is um the first two rows i really like really enjoyed this teal that's a really pretty pop but i think that this palette is a really good addition like not addition but addition kind of to my collection because it's not overly warm but it's also not overly like new like it's not it's neutral but it's neutral to where everybody would use like almost every single shade it's very very wearable so next is royalty which i'm really in, in like intrigued with this color it's like a purple like it's really pretty then you get saucy 
which is a deeper, more maroon kind of color. And then Goat, or Greatest of All Time, which is a brown. And then last but not least, you get Magic, which is a matte black. And I have definitely seen better matte blacks than this, but this is the shade range. I think it's really pretty. I just love that teal. That teal right smack dab in the middle is a really good pop. Like, if you're a woman that's like, I don't wear a lot of color and it would be pointless for me to buy this palette because there's just so many colors that I would never use. I don't get this. I don't get that with this palette. I feel like Salty is the perfect kind of addition for when you want to step out of your comfort zone a little bit but still have other shades that you can work with and use. It's great for the inner corner. It can go all over the lid. It can go on the lower lash line. It's just great for all over. And then you get your regular neutrals right up in here that make up any kind of neutral eye that you would want so i'm excited to try it out i'm excited i'm actually gonna go ahead and prime my lid wipe off the swatches and then we will uh get started okay you guys so the first shade i'm gonna go in with is hashtag 45 which i'm gonna use with the pretty bar um pro blending brush i haven't used this brush in forever but this is what i'm gonna use to excuse me to blend this into the crease and this is a really warm shade and it's very pigmented. Look at that. Ooh, that's pigmented. I'm just gonna work this up into the upper crease. I think I'm gonna do like a halo eye. I'm not really sure. Like I kind of had a halo eye envisioned, but you know how it goes. Like sometimes you just sit down and you just kind of go. And I know y'all are tired of half cut creases, so I might just do a halo eye because I don't want y'all yelling at me in the comments section that all my looks are looking the same. <laughs> the amount of petty. <laughs> but this shade is blending really nice. It's actually performing really, really, really good. And it looks really good on the, on the eye. Okay, so now I'm going to take um, Goat, or Greatest of All Time, and I'm going to uh, pop this into the inner corner of my eye and the outer corner of my eye now this brown shade isn't like it isn't very brown like it isn't very brown so I'm actually gonna switch over to magic which is the black right here which just in the pan it's just not looking very deep and very dark it looks a little more grayish honestly but i'm gonna put this into the inner crease and kind of like yeah can you guys see like it kind of looks a little more uh gray like it's not a very black black like the black and the brown could be a lot better for me or to me but this is just a little too muted that that's the word I'm looking for too muted it's a really pretty palette but I feel like all the other shades performed really well except for these two like I'm kind of wanting okay let me back up though if you are a beginner and you're just learning how to work with blacks and dark browns things like that things shades that really um, um, help deepen and darken eye looks then this will be a good shade to learn how to place the black and how to blend the black out without it being overly uh, overly black and really making it look like a mess <laughs> or like raccoony um, that could help but personally for me I'm kind of just like it's just just not not for me oh and I'm using a makeup geek uh, def defined crease brush I love this brush love 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 this brush it's definitely a necessary brush especially for halo eyes or putting black into the crease things like that so I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab a different palette and use that to help blend this black in because this black is really really bad in my opinion so I just grabbed my Shadow Couture palette. I'm gonna take Noir and 
Look at that, you can already see the difference. Mm-hmm. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, fudge just because Greatest of all time doesn't really show up too much. Just use that to blend it out a little bit. Okay, you guys, so now I'm gonna cut out the center. You can kind of see already where the center of the eye is, and it's kind of like the halo, and I'm gonna take some more of that ColourPop concealer on this Dose of Colors concealer brush and just kind of carve out the center, and then I'm gonna apply a couple of shadows to the center of the lid. And I don't know why I switched from my MAC Pro Longwear, but I've been really liking this ColourPop concealer and it's in the shade D40, so it's a little bit lighter than my actual skin tone. I actually need more of this concealer. Oh my gosh, I just realized today that Christmas is like Monday or Tuesday. Oh, so like, yeah, didn't even know that. All right, so now I'm kind of looking a little crazy, but that's okay. I'm gonna take Glow Up, which is the gold right here in the corner. I'm gonna take this, oops, I just put my nail through it, and take a JH41 brush and pop this all over the lid. This is like a gold, almost bronzy shade. And this look, okay, so this doesn't have to just be a Christmas look. This could be a date night look. This could be a, a grocery store look. This could be anything your heart desires. Okay, and now I'm gonna take a little bit of this um, Absolute New York. This is a fluid eyeshadow. So it's kind of like a liquid shadow and I'm gonna just take this, this eye look looks so crazy right now. Like it looks so crazy. Like, could you imagine if I was just like, okay, done. Like I hate, <laughs> I hate doing um, halo eyes like with a passion, but diversity, you know, diversity. I'm gonna take this right in the center just to give a little dimension. Just right in the smack center of the eyeball. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of Lumiere and just go right over the top with that liquid shadow. Like so. And then just Fade a little bit of glow up. And then I'm gonna go back in with black and just kind of feather the inner and outer corner. I'm gonna start with uh, the one in the palette, which is magic because it's just not as black. Honestly, with a halo eye, it's a lot of finessing. It's a lot of finessing. Like, just going back and forth, taking some off, putting some back on. A lot of finesse. And then, of course, when you apply your lashes, like, your lashes just kind of change the look. 
yeah i think that's uh i think that's about it for me and this look all right i think i'm done um i'm gonna do my face and i'm gonna take these star days eyelashes from more lashes more excuse me more lashes are back in stock you can get drama queen and soul snatcher and party girl i believe they are back in stock so make sure you guys get those i think yesterday was the last day before you can get them before christmas so if you order them now you'll probably get them like the day or, or two after christmas but i'm gonna go ahead and do that i was gonna do my face on camera but this look took too long so i will uh yeah do that <laughs> Okay, you guys, so for the lower lash line, I'm going to do the same thing that I did up top um, with applying it to the bottle. I'm going to take more of Magic and just, actually, first I'm going to take Goat or Greatest of All Time and just use that on the lower lash line. And I am going to connect it out here as well and then i'm gonna take some of magic on a flat definer brush and i am gonna end up going over this with the abh palette just because it's not gonna be dark enough but i'm gonna place that down and then i'm just gonna take a little bit of it on this makeup geek brush and just use that to kind of smudge it out And then a little bit of fudge again. And then of course do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, so now we are really sultry, really smoky. I completely understand if red isn't the way that you would go, but for me in this video, this is all about standing out, you know, and just, just being over the top, like just being completely extra. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips and I think I'm going to use, I think I might end up, because I'm going to go in with this Bobbi Brown um, Lux Liquid Lip High Shine. It's like a high shine gloss. And I think I'm going to end up taking Brick Red. Just because it's a little deeper and a little darker. And I'm going to line my lips and then I'm going to fill them in as well. And then I'm going to go in with the gloss over it. This is the Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in Brick Red. These are so creamy too. All right, and then I'm gonna take the Lux Liquid Lip High Shine Lip Gloss in Red The News 8. Has the same applicator as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give it to me. The only thing you want to make sure you do is the little test. So that way it's not on your lips. But that completes the look, you guys. You guys are going to slay the Christmas party, your grandma's house, your mom's house, your sister's house, whatever house you go to or whatever party you go to with this makeup look. It turned out a lot better than I thought. It kind of gives me like with my hair down the middle, like Morticia, Morticia Adams, kind of like Adams family vibe. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. This is, this is lit. I love it. It's so pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a really good holiday season and slay that party. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye.